1 Ampere Smart Active Equalizer Module Wiring Tutorial Prepare the Battery Pack Cables Active Equalizer Module BT Module First use Highland Barley Paper to insulate the battery pack and then add epoxy boards on both sides of the terminals for further insulation. Use a multimeter to determine the total negative terminal position of the battery pack. Mark B0 on the total negative electrode. Mark B1 on the connection between the positive electrode of the first string and the negative electrode of the second string. And then mark B2, B3, B4, etc. until the total positive electrode is B13. Add 10 to each terminal to make it easier to solder the cable. The first black cable corresponds to the battery's total negative terminal B0. The first blue cable next to it corresponds to B1. The second corresponds to B2. And in sequence until the last cable corresponds to B13, cut off the excess part of the cable. Cut out the wire core with wire pliers. Start soldering the cables. Cable welding completed. Let's check whether the wiring is correct. Adjust the multimeter to the voltage range and measure the voltage between adjacent cables. During the measurement process, the two terminals of the multimeter should not touch each other to avoid a short circuit. If the voltage between the cables is under the nominal voltage range, it indicates that the wiring is correct. You can also use the testing light board to test. If a 13 string battery pack lights up with 13 lights, it means the wiring is correct. You can also use a cable tester to check whether the cable connections are correct. Plug in the active equalization module for equalization. Plug Bluetooth into the active equalization module. Click the button to activate the BT module. Download the Balance BMS APP on Google Store or iOS Store then open the APP, select Local Monitoring, turn on Bluetooth. Select Single Group for Battery Mode. Select the corresponding Bluetooth No and click Connect. Confirm Battery Type. Then we can see that the battery is balancing. The cell voltage difference is about 0.2 volt. We can also check other data and you can set the battery parameters. The initial password is 123456. In addition, we can also plug the UART communication line into the UART port of the equalizer module or plug the RS485 communication line into the 485 port of the equalizer module and connect it to the computer host computer for data viewing and settings. We can contact customer service to provide installation packages. First, we need to download the driver. Then unzip the installation package, open the application in the installation package, and select the serial number and baud rate. You can view the battery pack parameters and setting parameters on the host computer after the battery is balanced for a period of time. The light of the active equalization module is off. We check the data after battery balancing on the APP. The voltage difference is about 0.02 volt and the balancing is completed. 